What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Matthew Wing. And I'm Ashley Borton. Today is Wednesday, February 17th, and we are here with your Wolfpack news. Here is John with the sports update. Wolfpack, I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. Not a lot for you today, but some good news in the world of professional sports this week and not so good news for some high school athletes, so let's jump on into it. Spring training for baseball starts soon. Pitchers and catchers reported this week to start throwing bullpens, and the rest of the MLB rosters will be reporting to their team's spring training sites in Florida and Arizona next week. MLB is scheduled for a full and regular spring training and full season this year. Should be fun to have some normalcy again for baseball fans. The NCAA Division I Council announced Wednesday that it was extending the recruiting dead period for all sports through May 31st, continuing on a ban on in-person recruiting that has been in place since the coronavirus pandemic began last March. With the dead period potentially ending in June, it will have been at least 14 months since there were official campus visits for prospects or in-person evaluations by coaches. This means high school athletes will have the opportunity to be seen by college coaches in June of this year and possibly be recruited after 14 months without being able to be seen by college recruiters, which has been a big hit on high school athletes from all sports across the country. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your weekly sports update. Thank you, John. Here's Yash comparing today's climate with history. Hey, Wolfpack. My name is Josiah Edwards, and I'm here to tell you more about the changes in the Biden administration. Recently, Biden has made a statement by saying that he has a plan to stop or rather slow down climate change. He will put a halt to gas and oil. Biden's plan, however, will take time. He plans just to finish his plan in 2050, but for his plan to work, he must at least win the second election. Biden knows that he won't be able to stay in house forever, but he does want to make a jump start on getting climate change fixed now. Biden's administration also says that they have a giant plan for immigration in America. America has always faced controversy on how our immigration system works, but now that Biden is president, he does have a plan to change it. Although he has not gone into further detail on how the plan is going to work, he does have an idea to fix it, and his plan is said to be finished in 2025. That's all I have for your president news today, Wolfpack. Back to you, anchors. Seniors, please complete this diploma name verification form by February 24th. The purpose of this verification is to ensure that there are no errors in the spelling of your name and to determine your preference with regard to your middle name. If you have any questions about this form, please contact the school registrar by email at kbarney at edgeusd.net. Now, all students interested in joining the CO track team must email Coach Taylor at mltaylor at edgeusd.net. The first day of practice is March 1st. Athletes must have a sports physical and completed all paperwork at the athleticclearance.com website in order to start practice. That's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Ashley Borton, and remember, the strength of the pack is in the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is in the pack. Have a good day, Wolf Pack.